Greetings, it's Ali Teaches, you guys. Hadrian here. Welcome to a new video. How is everyone doing today? Because they're all doing fantastic. Just got inside the car. You know what's happening. We're gonna go thrifting. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day. Um, I had a little bit of a late start. It's already like afternoon it's already past like one o'clock um hung out with the family a little bit this morning and the oh i think that though the kids don't they don't have spring break till next week so they have spring break next week um elizo possibly broke his finger in school so i don't I think he's gonna see like a bone doctor like tomorrow I don't know he has like a splint on it right now they said he possibly has like a hairline fracture or something of that nature um, I don't know but poor Elizo but he's like you know how kids are there he's just like running around he just has like a thing on his finger and he like has not a care in the world so um but he says it doesn't hurt or anything anymore like he, it only hurt during like when it happened so yeah but we are gonna go to the thrift store and i'm really excited yesterday we had a live sale saturday night I try to go live again too on Instagram at the same time, but for some reason it wasn't connecting. So I don't know if I just set it up incorrectly and then I couldn't fix it anymore after that. So hopefully the next live I'll be able to connect it again to Instagram and then we can go live on there. But for everyone that joined last night, thank you so much. It's always so much fun hanging out with you guys during the lives. Uh, today I kind of, um, I have some stuff in the back of the car that I want to see if I can sell to Crossroads. That's like, I that's one of my new favorite things right now is buying things and selling it to like to those buy sell trade stores. I feel like it's so much fun. You just like looking for stuff and yeah. So I think we might do that as well. Oh, I should have put more lotion on. My skin is, I need to have like a thing of lotion in my bag at all times. My hands are like so dry. My my skin gets really dry, especially during the winter time. I don't know, it's crazy. In the Philippines, like this, I was like so happy because it's so humid. Like you literally like feel moisturized at all times. So yeah. But I still like, I had so much lotion though in the Philippines. Their lotion is amazing. We brought some back and I am in love with it. I love the lotion so much. I think also the thing is with me, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, is that during winter time, I hate like putting lotion on and then like putting on like sweaters or jackets or like pants. And then I feel like the lotion is like sticking to the clothing and I'm just like, it's just, like makes me like crazy. But I got this new lotion in the Philippines and it's like this serum based lotion and after like a few minutes it just absorbs into your skin so nicely and then like you don't even feel like you have lotion anymore and of course I forgot to put that lotion on this morning. I was like thinking about it the whole time and I was like wait let me just like get everything else situated and then I forgot so now my arms are dry so my little legs but it's okay. We'll make do. I think I'll, um, I do have like some aquifer. I can always use that, but that's really sticky. So you have to use like a really small amount. Uh, but, oh, if anyone has any like lotion recommendations, please let me know. I gotta show you guys the lotion that I got from the Philippines though. I really, really like it. It's amazing. But if anyone has any like really good uh, lotion recommendations, please tell me. I'm like obsessed with lotion. Also, let me know what skincare everyone's using right now, too. Like, do you have, like, any skincare, like, holy grail skincare products? If you do, please let me know. But it doesn't look like it's as overcast today as it was yesterday. Yesterday, 
Uh, the sun was going in and out because of all the clouds. Today I feel like it's not too cloudy like it was yesterday. I also feel like it's a tad bit warmer today. Yesterday it was like, I don't know, it felt like it was almost 10 degrees cooler yesterday. But it was really nice going back to the thrifts. Um, I haven't been back to the thrift stores since I left the Philippines like that. Um, when I got back, I did go to like Veterans, but that's close by, and that was the only store I went to. It was just like, because I needed a quick fix. But I miss going to like the Goodwills, um, Crossroads, stores like that. Oh, there's gonna be traffic. Okay, anyway, I actually gotta charge this little camera right now because I forgot to charge it last night. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you guys over at the first store. All right, you guys, we're at St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store in LA. Let's go inside and check it out. Colors of the day, green, white, and red. Nice. Whoa, this trunk is crazy. There's this cabinet too, 250. This is a cool chair. How much is this? 600. Uh, Overman USA. Is the brand Overman. So many tables, chairs. Oh wait, these chairs are really nice. <gasps> these are the chairs that we have at our house. This is a Williams Sonoma chair. That's so crazy. I really like these chairs. They're not leather though. I was looking at them. They're just like a coated something. These chairs are actually pretty nice. These are $80. They have some like pretty nice chairs. Oh, this one is, oh, that's already sold. That's a nice chair right there. That's sold one. I was looking at those like computer desks. They're pretty nice too. They always have like cool. I actually got the chairs here that we have in the dining room for the kids. Like I love those chairs. They're actually restoration hardware, and I got them at such a good deal. I can't believe they have our chair though. Like we literally have these are our chairs at the house. Do they have any cool sofas? 
This kind of looks pottery varnish, but it's pretty stained. Actually, it might not be pottery barn. Ooh, this looks comfy. I always love looking at the sofas. Oh, this one looks nice, but it's only one part of the sofa. The other side is missing. This was like a sectional. Oh, and the legs are really nice on this one. It has like these metal legs. I'm in the market for a new sofa because mine is broken. This is pure. Ooh, this looks nice and comfy. Look at that clown thing. That is interesting. Someone's precious moments collection. Blue and white cat. Fairy collection. You guys, I got Princess Parking. It literally parked like right there. So close. But we're gonna go to the Goodwill. We're at the Goodwill. Um, this is the, what is it? Flagship store. Let's go inside. Okay, so the bag selection here is not the most. Actually, the least amount of bags I've ever seen. But in the front, they had a vintage Kelly style coach bag made in Italy. I think I might get it, but it's like, I think it's like $90, but it's really, really cute. But let's check out the rest of the store. Okay, this other side of the bag section, we had a little bit more luck. I found this uh, Tous, T-O-U-S wallet. It's 
It's really cute. It's only five bucks. And then I found this Dagny Dover in this really pretty pink color. It's going to need some cleaning. And I don't know if this is color transfer. But I like the bag. I think it's really, really cute. So I think I might get it. It even still has the little cup holder thing right there too. To keep your drinks in. And it just looks really dusty. So, But this one's 25 bucks. This one's a little bit more expensive too. So... But I think I'm going to get it. This is for candles, right? This is cool. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, empty sunglass case. Karen, oh, these are Karen Walker sunglass cases, but they're pretty dirty and damaged. I do like Karen Walker sunglasses, though. They're really nice. Oh, these are interesting. They have these two lamps. I think they might be Pottery Barn. I'm not 100% certain, but they're $25. It's so a little pricey. They also have this Cricut. I think this is a newer style too. This one's 30 bucks, but it's missing the plug and stuff. All right, let's look at the plates. That is like kind of interesting looking. It's really heavy. You guys see anything interesting over there? With the glassware and crystal. Hey guys, okay, we are back in the house and I'm really excited to show you guys what we ended up getting today when we went out thrifting. So we went to the Goodwill. We went to the Goodwill flagship store though in LA, which is fantastic. And we went to both the regular store and then we went to the outlet. And then I also did go to Crossroads and we got some goodies. Okay, let me show you guys what I ended up getting from the outlet, AKA the bins. I did end up picking picking up clothing, but all those pieces um, I sold already to Crossroads before I even got home. So those are sold, but these are the ones I kept for myself. And these were very exciting. I found these two little away uh, pieces. If you guys don't know the brand, Away is a luggage company and they make really, really great luggage. And these are like their little carry-on container kind of things. Like if you want to put things in here that you don't want like necessarily crushed or you know what, like, you know, stuff like that. Now this one is a collab with United. So I think this was like a gift to business or like first class passengers or something like that. And then this other one, 
uh, I believe is actually just from the regular store and it might have come like a purchase from the store or it came with like another luggage piece but this one is in the light pink they also are in different in size so this pink one is definitely larger ah oh my gosh I cannot hold on to these things the blue one can definitely like is definitely a little smaller than the pink one but they're both really really great this one has like two little pieces right there and then this one has like the pocket and then the little uh rubber bandy thing this one it is like it did have a price in it but it was from the bin so these were just measured by the weight so pretty cool this one is a little dirty the pink one but i feel like a little bit of cleaning will get all that looking really really good so we got two weight pieces and those were from the bins very excited about those. Okay, then we also went to... Where's the wallet? We went to the regular store as well. And this is a Dagny Dover tote bag. I believe this retails for like two fifty ish like around there maybe a little bit more or a little bit less this is in the pink color and this is leather and this is one of their um i think this is like their t simple tote or i forgot the name essentials tote something like that but this is part of their core collection and i think this is one of the bags that made them really really popular and it is a really really pretty color it does i don't know if the stains are showing i don't know if it's color transfer i don't know if it's dirt but i know these bags are really easy to clean and i love the leather that they use for this it's kind of like that caviar leather kind of like the chanel bags and it's just really nice and then it does have like a brushed gold hardware and then it zips across the top it's a little dusty so i don't know if this has just been in storage for a long time it has so many compartments it has a little drink holder as well pen pockets phone pockets there's a laptop sleeve that's padded and it has like a little magnetic thing that goes over it has this little piece right here these are for your keys you can attach your keys onto there as well and i think if you wanted to attach a crossbody strap to this you could but this one doesn't have a crossbody strap i feel like the larger ones don't normally come with a crossbody strap but i don't know i feel like you can definitely add like like this would be really cute to add with it like as a fun crossbody strap i got this from another store and this is like you can just attach this and then carry it crossbody so you can have another option but the handles are nice and long and you can wear it really easily on your shoulder even if you're wearing like a thick bulky sweater or jacket but this one was i think it was 25 yeah this one was 25 dollars all right there 25 bucks so i picked that up then okay this one was such a cute find i am kind of obsessed with this bag this is a vintage ferragamo crossbody flat bag the leather is so so soft i feel like it just needs a good cleaning and conditioning but it's a beautiful brown leather the hardware too is so so cool so it has this hardware right here and this actually like pops up like that and then that releases the top flap and then you have a pocket right there and then you have the interior there's just one zipper pocket these are little ferragamo tags right there with a the serial number underneath and this one was forty dollars but beautiful beautiful bag love love the way that the strap close it i feel like it's so unique you can also i think you can actually remove the crossbody strap too if you wanted to just use this as a clutch or you can tuck it inside but it's beautiful there's the Givenchy antigone clutch which looks very similar to this but i feel like this is so nice the leather is really beautiful i think it just needs a little cleaning and conditioning and then it's going to be really 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 nice but i think this is such a versatile bag as well beautiful i love it so ferragamo oh here's the other piece okay then i got there's uh, this is from a brand called Tous, T O U S. It's just their embossed wallet. I love their like little hardware zipper pull right here. It's in the shape shape of like their mascot, which is a bear. So that's what that it's like the outline of it. And you have this compartment here in the front. This was four dollars and ninety cents. Lots of card slots, bill slots, and all that goodness. And then a zip also. And then you have this beautiful vibrant green interior lining. It's in pretty good shape. It's such a cute wallet, too. I feel like the zipper is a little stuck. It needs some wax or something. There you go. Great little wallet. Okay, now this one is like kind of like the piece that is this on of today's finds from that Goodwill. They had all these items behind the register with the exception of the Tooth wallet and the Dagny Dover tote. But behind the register, 
we have a very we had a very rare item this is a vintage coach kelly bag and it's in the most beautiful hand colored leather i love this bag so so much it's in pretty good condition still has the original hang tag i feel like it just needs a good cleaning slash conditioning especially on the back i don't know if you can see like there's like some dirt stains or something back there there's a nice big back pocket which is fantastic and then turn lock i actually really like this style too because it doesn't have um there's another style like this that has like the hardware i like it better like this with like the leather just like attached to the top flap here's the interior this one was 80 dollars, so it was pretty pricey but i feel like it was well worth it what's really cool too is you can take off the crossbody strap and then this actually tucks in like that and then you don't see the hardware but then when you use the bag you pull that out and then that way it doesn't damage the sides of the bag so i thought that was a really nice like design thing and then there's just one interior zipper the creed is right here this is made in italy which makes it like even more rare the made in italy coach bags are pretty hard to find and this one is beautiful i feel like with a little bit of conditioning and cleaning this will look even better it already looks beautiful as is i really like it i feel like <laughs> i can't, i honestly kind of want to use it but i don't want to fall in love with it because i don't want to have to keep it but it's such a great bag it's just like an hermes kelly bag and it's beautiful so i love it these actually sell for quite a lot too on the resale market sometimes and yeah so was, i think it was well worth that like 80 dollar price tag but beautiful golden brown too this is such a good color this is like one of my favorite color for handbags so i'm very excited to have found this so this will be available in the next live sale for sure before i end up keeping it for myself and just hoarding it and then we went to crossroads and let's start off with this cute little furla this one is brand new with tags and it is a little furla like magenta pink leather drawstring bucket bag crossbody so so cute this was such a good price it was like 22.50 it's adorable. I love this little, like this is their new kind of like logo design. So fun. Tags right there. It even has the dust bag side right here. And then it has just one interior pocket. And of course it's super clean inside because it's never been used. And this side of the hardware actually still has the little protective cover on it. That's why it's not even attached to the bag. So I thought this was a really cool find. It's a good size too. You can fit a full size wallet, largest iPhone inside of there. And it's just really, really cute and lightweight and perfect for every day. And it's just a fun pop of color in this magenta colored leather. And it has gold hardware, which I think is a nice, a nice contrast to that pink. All right, then I have, this is a cute little cutie. This is a Marc Jacobs snapshot card wallet. It's in black and white with gold hardware. It has a little dust bag. This one was $28. So fun. I love that. The color combo is really great. I love, I love a little card wallet. I'm a little card wallet person. I, it either has to be the tiniest little card wallet like that or like a little zip around card case or it's like a large wallet. Like not like a regular zip around it has to be like huge like three or two times the size i don't know i like a medium-sized wallet isn't for me but it has to be tiny or huge but got that mark jacobs speaking about tiny bags this one is it this is so so cute this is a little tiny mz wallace bag this is the tiny metro tote the color is anthracite so it's kind of like a metallic it's adorable I think my mom <laughs> wants it, so we're gonna let her have it if she does. Uh, she saw it and she's like, that's mine, I want it. It's so cute. You, this can actually hold your cards, it zips across the top. She wants to put her keys in here and I'm like, mom, like you're crazy. She's gonna have like this tiny bag that she's gonna put in her like other tiny bag and it's gonna like her keys. I have no clue what she's thinking about doing with this, but it's really, really cute. It's brand new with tags it's from Nordstrom and it is just the cutest little bag. It has a little crossbody. The crossbody strap, though, isn't removable. Yeah, this strap is not removable at all. I wish you could remove it. You probably have to, like, cut it off or something. Yeah, it's, like, sewn. Like, the strap is, like... But I feel like you can just cut the little part that's sewn on the strap. Anyway, so fun. I love MZ Wallace bags. I have a few pieces in my collection. They're great travel bags. Great every day. You can use them as diaper bags, weekend bags. They are fantastic. And then... I think this might be the last item that I have from today. And it is this beautiful Marc Jacob bag. Now this is a Marc Jacobs made in Italy bag. The color is gorgeous. It's like this beigey 
creamy, like, like nude color with gold hardware. This is made in Italy, so this is one of the Marc Jacobs collection bags. So this bag was probably really expensive. It's probably around $1,000 retail. There's a nice big front zipper pocket. The top handles are great. You can carry this on your shoulder. And then what's even more fantastic is that this actually has a crossbody strap. It's just hidden inside. So you can wear it crossbody as well. And then it has a magnetic snap up at the top. The interior too is nice and clean. Just have one interior pocket. There's that made in Italy Marc Jacob tab right there. It also does have little feet on the bottom, which is fantastic. And the corners are in pretty good shape. Like, I feel like the only wear on this bag was on the handles. And I think that wear is actually from, they put like these little clips on the bags. I know it's the clips that damage this because I see that a lot with these bags. So I'm pretty sure that's what damaged the bag. And it wasn't from like the previous user because the rest of the bag is in such perfect condition. Honestly, I think it might have been in like perfect condition before it got to the store and then because of those little clips, the little straps got too damaged. But it's honestly not the worst. It's on the back strap too. So yeah, it's not very noticeable. The front strap is in pretty good shape. It doesn't have too much like marks on it. But it's such a beautiful bag, right? This is it without anything in it. It's so slouchy, so soft, gorgeous. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Tune in tomorrow right early at 7 a.m. for a new video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Tune in to the next live sale. Also, you can check out my Depop, Mercari, and Poshmark for any new listed items. I have updated all three of those. The links are down below in the description box. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys. Adios.